Hi, my name is Chris Dixon. I'm the co-founder of Hunch. This is Founder Stories. Uh, today we have Joel Spolsky from Stack Overflow. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Um, I should first disclose I'm an investor in Stack Overflow. Um, Thank you. <laughs> um, thanks for letting me invest. Um, so, uh, so, 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 can you talk a little bit about your background and um, how you started Stack Overflow? Sure. Uh, I, I started, um, you know, when I first graduated, I went to work at Microsoft for a while, bounced around the tech industry, worked at Viacom, Juno, in New York. Uh, finally started my own company in the year 2000, and that was Fog Creek Software, at about the same time as I started my blog, Joel on Software. And um, in 2008, I had this idea for a uh, question and answer site for programmers um, that was sort of a combination of a wiki and a Q&A site. And, um, couldn't really find anybody at Fog Creek that had time to implement it. So I started a new venture that was a, a joint venture with Jeff Atwood. Mm -hmm. He was another long, long time blogger, not quite as senior as I was, um, but we both had big readerships. And uh, so when we started um, Stack Overflow in 2008, um, it took about four months to build the first version of the site, and uh, we had a large number of readers from our blogs to, to populate the initial questions and answers. Yeah, so this is always a problem when you have um, user-generated sites is like kind of like getting, you know, sort of over the chicken and egg problem or whatever um, mm -hmm. and getting the initial content. And so I guess you did that partly just by having a blog and sort of a presence in the programmer community. Yeah, absolutely. You have to, you really have to study um, uh, growth curves. <laughs> you just have to look at the way those numbers work because uh, behind every overnight success is somebody that was toiling away at eight years doing something. And in, in my case, it was building the audience of Jolent Software uh, readers, which was... Um, you know, depending on you, how you measured it, might have had a million people a month or so that, you know, maybe read an article on Jolent Software, uh, probably a smaller number that visited regularly. Um, but that was a large chunk of programmers. And so when we opened the doors to Stack Overflow, you know, Jeff had sort of um, smaller but still significant numbers. And when we opened the doors to Stack Overflow, uh, you know, people sort of flooded in and started asking their questions right away and answering them. And um, the chicken and egg problem yeah, you know, it, it really is sort of ignored. You need you, when, when you have a large population, when you have a large number of uh, users or engaged users in some way, it's very easy to kind of turn their engagement to something else or to build new smaller things out of that, which mm -hmm. will then grow on their own. Uh, but if you're just starting from scratch, you're still growing at the same rate. It's you know, there's no problem. I got 10 people to have 15 people next month, um, but that takes a long time before you yeah. get to the big and I, head. And I guess having people come in through Google kind of helps too, right? Because they only um, it's not like, it, at the beginning, if you only have sort of a, a limited number of programming questions, they, the people can just happen on through Google. It's not like you have to like have a comprehensive yep. directory at first, right? Is that right? I mean, uh, Exactly. You can, um, uh, y you can win for the things that you're winning for yeah, and, exactly. and not, not even have to play in the yeah. things where you're not winning. We always assumed that uh, at this point, Google, uh, you, even in 2008, and, and actually well before that, um, Google was good enough at finding stuff that yeah. everybody would search first there, even for you know highly yeah. technical programming topics. And people would, you, people would search there first for things in a book that they had in their hands, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Because uh, it was easier. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, what that means is if you have great content for Google on certain topics, um, at least you'll get the credit for that. You'll get partial credit for that.